Hey, what's up, guys? I figured I'd document this, and I'm kind of looking for some advice from someone who may know a little bit more about peppers than I do. I just wanted to show you this pepper that I have that somewhere along the line it has crossed with something before I got the seed. So this cross isn't because of me growing a lot of peppers together. I just want to be very clear on that. This is a seed that was crossed in a field before I got to it. So take a look at this. I can't see because of the sun. Now you can see there's these spikes on here. They're literally spikes on this thing all around it like you would get on a cucumber. So somewhere along the line this pepper crossed with something. I'm assuming it could only cross with its own species but I could be wrong. I don't know enough about pepper crossing for me to actually make that determination. So my question is, has anybody seen spiking on peppers like that before? They have seen spiking on peppers. What exactly caused that? Because I'd be really curious to know if that's causing some of my plants to die back this time of year. Normally, I don't have that problem with my plants dying back this time of year. Normally, my plants look healthy like this. Okay, all the way down. They're all healthy on that side of the greenhouse. This side of the greenhouse really took a beating, okay? So I'm not sure if maybe the soil or something that I had used in that soil is causing this spiking effect. If it's a genetic characteristic, I'd like to know a little bit more about it. And has anybody seen spiking on there? I mean, in general, I've never seen a pepper that has spikes or points on it. I don't, I'm not saying it's the only one. Maybe there are other peppers that have spikes on it. I just never seen one. And I've seen a lot of varieties of peppers. I may not own every variety, but I have certainly researched a lot of varieties of peppers. I've never come across any that have that specific characteristic. So I'm curious as to what is going on. I'm assuming it's not a genetic characteristic. I'm assuming it's some kind of deformity in a soil. Only this one plant is really exhibiting the spikes on it. It's almost like it's the nature of this particular type of pepper. Why I believe that this pepper either crossed somewhere along the line before I got to it, it didn't cross in my greenhouse. This is not a cross because of me. This is the plant itself that came up. This was a crossed genetics before the seed came to me. So that whole pack of seeds that I got could be filled with all kinds of anomaly type of peppers because five of those plants that came out of that pepper plant, all five of them are freaks in nature. All five are just, they're, none of them are matching what they're supposed to be. It's not a true type that Pennock should look like from what I could see. It doesn't look like a Pennock. All right, so all five of these are just, I don't know what happened. I don't know what, what they what they did. So I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I want to be able to identify and isolate if any one of these particular strains is identifiable. I can't specifically identify them. If I grow them out for three or four years, I need to be able to catalog it and name it with a catalog number or a species number of some kind so I can eventually stabilize the strain and then maybe offer seeds for it in the future. Maybe I got lucky and I have some freaks that came out. Let me show you over to the pot and let me just talk a little bit about the seeds and what came out of that pot and the pepper plants that are in there and why I think that they were crossed somewhere along the line before I got the seeds. Okay, so I'll see you over there. If you look at this pepper very closely, okay, I'm not going to pick it yet, but if you look at it very closely, you can see there's these thorns all over the pepper on the side. Almost like what you would kind of see on certain varieties of cucumbers, they have those little spikes that stick out. This pepper is exhibiting this spiky type of behavior. Okay, it's not just one pepper, 
they're all doing it. All the peppers from this plant are showing these little spikes. These are very young peppers, so you may not see them yet, but this pepper's been on here for a while and I haven't noticed that on there until today. So I'm not sure what causes these spikes, if it's some kind of a disease or is this some kind of a cross. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because all the seeds that came out of that pack of seeds that I got and I planted in this pot, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five large plants and you can see there's a number of small plants which now that I see something strange coming out of here I am probably going to bring this in for the winter because I want to find out what in God's name is going on with this pack of seeds that I got from I don't know who at the moment. So out of this pack of seeds came the panic which you can see right there. That's your panic. Okay. I also got the yellow version of this pancake type pepper which is very different looking in nature from the regular pennic that you normally get with your pennic seeds. Okay, so we got the uh, bishop's crown, we got the pennic in there, then we got that yellow freak of nature, whatever that is, and we have, let me see, there's five plants, so we got so far three different ones, then we got this thing with the odd shape spikes on it okay sorry about that and this plant is dying so I'm not sure what I'm going to get off it I don't know if, if I could clip it early I might be able to get it to refruit in the winter and then there's one more version of the fifth plant of the panic and I don't quite know what the fifth version is which is this one back here you can see I'm touching it and that one's throwing off a couple of freaks as well. It looks like it has some spikes on it as well, on a panic type shape, but it, this isn't your normal panic shape. This shape is a little bit different altogether. So all five of those plants are different in the type of fruit that is coming out of it, and they're not the same. So I received seeds that were not pure and strained, something crossed in their growing uh, plantation and I ended up with some very strange looking peppers. That is that good or bad? I don't know. I'm quite interested to see if these strains will go true for the next five years and I will grow them out. I will isolate them and grow them out. I will only keep fruit from the at the second strain of course at the F1s, F2s, F1s and F2s are going to be, I'm going to keep all the seeds, but I'm going to separate those seeds. And then from there, I will isolate that particular characteristic out of that pepper that I want. So if that spiking is something that is seen in peppers, I don't know anything about spiking on peppers, but this one's spiking and so are a number of other ones on that particular variety. Please comment below if you have a link that can link me over to the spiking of pepper plants I would be really interested as to what causes that I don't know maybe it's nematodes maybe it's I don't know I don't I really don't even know what would really cause that maybe it crossed over with like a cucumber or a pickle it is a salonsi so maybe something else in the salonsi family crossed in it somehow but that's what I received from them so these seeds that came out of that pack were not pure in nature. I got one plant that seems to be putting out a pretty consistent type of pepper, but even this panic, from what I looked at, this is the panic that I'm assuming is the correct version of the panic, is, uh, is not showing me any type of true characteristic. The actual true characteristic of the panic would be this shape. This flat, see that? That's like the true version, but that version is supposed to be red. I don't know why they're turning yellow. So something really weird is going on. It's probably crossed. And I am just simply documenting this so as time goes on, if the strain does 
breed itself out true and they produce a consistent flow of these type of variety of peppers, I would like to one day make these seeds available to people in the future who might want to try to grow this out and maybe experiment with it and try to determine exactly what this pepper had crossed with originally. So just thought I'd share that and I'm also documenting this and uh, this time date and stamp will be included in a video and that will document its first recording of its existence. Unless somebody else has a pepper like this that they've seen before, please provide the info so I can update my video. Okay, I appreciate it and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.